we are a member state of the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. And uh, the IMF is an institution created by member states under the UN program, per se. You know, like uh, we also have the World Bank, and then we have those that deal with other issues, UNHCR and so forth. And World Bank and IMF normally tackle matters of the economy and finance. All right? Even IFC is usually there for private sector support and, and so forth. These are all institutions under this. Now, what I want to say is that, um, therefore, for us to engage with the IMF is important. And in the current circumstances, it is necessary. The country is suffering from the ravages of COVID. The same situation is prevailing globally. Uh, the country uh, has seen a decline in revenues from tourism, uh, a decline in some of its export earnings. So clearly, we are beginning to feel pressure uh, budgetary pressure and this can have implications on our currency if we are not careful the shilling can depreciate very rapidly and that has implications in terms of our oil import bill etc if it depreciates and it translates into inflationary pressure in the entire economy so the engagement of the IMF, I think, is a good development. And uh, what we need to figure out now is what are the terms of that engagement, because they will be painful in certain areas. And the IMF will be releasing these resources in tranches. They release in tranches, and, and uh, they'll be measuring that the release of the tranche vis-a-vis -vis what was should have been achieved by the Kenya government within the, the time frame that was agreed.